Congratulations on completing 50 or more hours of instruction. You are now ready to take your progress test. Your test will be administered online. This means you will take your test on a computer. Before you take your test, let's review what your test will look like. We will review the resources on the online tools training site. At the end of this video, you will have an opportunity to use these tools for yourself. You will visit this website. Once here, click on the link Online Tools Training. Select the practice test you will be taking, either the Class E Reading or Class E Listening. For this video, we will select Class E Reading, Level 1, Standard. Audio is only if you have this accommodation. For this practice, you will sign in with the username and password provided on the screen. For your official test, you will type in the information provided by the test administrator. Here, we will type in the username READOTT1 and the password TEST1234. Then click the sign in button. Once logged in, verify the information displayed in blue matches the information provided by the test administrator. If it is not correct, raise your hand and inform the test administrator. If it is correct, click the green continue button to go on. You will then see a list of tests that have been scheduled for you to take. Wait for the test administrator to tell you to click on the link. For this practice, we'll go ahead and click the link. Once here, read the directions carefully. The reading directions here instruct you to use the black next or back arrows to go to the next question. Clicking on review and test will take you to the end of the test to review and end your test. Note that once you exit the test, you cannot go back. Now that you have read the directions, click next. The next screen will show you three gray circles to ensure the computer screen is set up correctly. If you do not see three gray circles, raise your hand and let the test administrator know. If you do see three gray circles, then click the green button, begin the test. This is a sample question. Let's review what is on this page. At the top, you will see some icons. The pointer will change to a pencil when you move it over a bubble. The cross-off appears as a pencil with a red X and will put a red X through an answer bubble. The highlighter will allow you to highlight text when you hold down your mouse over the text. The sticky note allows you to place a short note on a question. The magnifying glass will allow you to enlarge the entire screen. The line guide will place a blue horizontal line to a line of text. The help has information to help with how things work. At the bottom of the page, review slash end test will take you to the review page and allow you to end the test. Pause will let you pause for 20 minutes. Note. This does not give you more time on your test. Flag will mark a question with a flag. You can then come back to that question to review it. Options will provide some options for the test. For example, changing the color or contrast. Let's do the practice question now. I have my pointer selected and I will read the question to myself. The question asks, which picture shows the pencil? I will select the bubble B and click on it with the pencil. The gray shade lets me know I selected it. I can then check my answer. Note, you can only check your answers for the practice. You will not be able to check your answers for the actual test. Click on the play button to hear the correct answer. The round arrow 
lets you know you can replay the audio. You can also adjust the volume. Let's click the black next button to practice one more question. I will start by reading the directions. Read the sign. The sign says, sandwiches, two for one. The question reads, where can you see the sign? Bank, library, restaurant. I can use some of the tools to help me. I can use the cross off to cross off the questions I know are not right. I can use the highlighter to highlight words or phrases that are important. I can use the sticky note to write myself a reminder. I can also flag the question to come back to review. Let's click the black next arrow to go on to the next question. I have reached the end of the test and now I can review my answers. You will notice a check mark next to number one. This means I answered this question. The blank box next to number two lets me know I did not answer this question. You will also notice the flag. This is because I flagged this question to come back to review it. If I click and test, you will get a red stop sign that says, are you done with your test? Be sure you have answered all of the questions. I can click the green button, return to review, to continue the test. I can go back to question two that I did not answer. I will click on it. If I wanted to read my note, I will double click on it. With my pointer selected, I can click on the correct answer. C, restaurant. Again, the gray shade lets me know I have selected it. I can check my answer to see if I am right. Remember, you can only check your answer on the practice. Now that I reviewed my question, I can click on the flag to take it off, and then click the black next arrow. I see all my questions are answered. I am ready to submit. Click the black end test button to submit your test. Now the red stop sign says, you have answered all questions. I will click the black submit button to finish. That is the end of the class E reading level one standard practice session. We wish you the best on your test. You will do great.